Help me help you by disrupting YouTube's algorithm. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Google Meet is now free for everyone to hold video chats. All you need is a Gmail address. Meet isn't as fully featured as other video chat apps like Zoom Meeting, but Google is working towards making Meet better than the competition. In the meantime, installing a few free innovative Chrome browser extensions can provide much more functionality immediately. In this video, I'm recommending Chrome extensions for teachers and anyone else who wants a more functional Google Meet right away. These extensions include Taking Attendance and Meet, which I'll save for last. My first recommendation is the Grid View extension, a tiled layout that can show up to 16 participants at once. Google is working towards creating this feature along with a low light and noise cancellation mode to enhance each participant's appearance and audio. You may not want to wait for Google, so I suggest installing the Google Meet Grid View Chrome extension. I'll put the link in the description. My second recommendation is Nod Reactions, which enables participants the opportunity to give a quick reaction to whatever is going on, saving loads of time as feedback can be made without stopping the meeting. Here you can see that Kai gives a thumbs up, Cole laughs, Grace raised her hand to ask a question, and Sean also gives a thumbs up. The downside is, in order to see and use the reactions, each participant needs to install the Nod Reactions Google Chrome extension. The next extension I recommend is Push to Talk. It does exactly what it says, allowing you to be muted during the meeting, and when it's time for you to speak, simply push the spacebar and talk. Release the spacebar and you go right back to being muted, which lowers stress levels and saves time eliminating all the distracting noises coming from all the participants and allowing a simple method to talk during the meet. Perfect for teachers and students. There is a similar working feature already in Google Meet. However, you have to mute yourself first, then you can press the spacebar to unmute yourself and press the spacebar to mute yourself again. Finally, the important Chrome extension for teachers, Google Meet Attendance. Collect attendance in a Google Sheet from a Google Meet Meet attendance requires logging in and syncing your Chrome browser. You can take attendance at various intervals throughout the meeting to know which participants were in the meeting at various times during the meeting. This data is put into a Google spreadsheet for you. It's not as convenient as taking attendance in Zoom, and I believe Google will add a much more efficient attendance feature in Google Meet soon. Know that these Google Chrome extensions may or may not work after Google makes changes to Meet. If you can't live without these Meet features, then adding these Chrome extensions just may be the answer you've been looking for, at least temporarily. I will place links to each of these Google Chrome extensions in the description. Take a moment to check out some of my other tutorials and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks for watching. Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.